In this tutorial, we will do a basic setup of Mocha on our system and we'll write our first unit test case. Let's get started. First of all, we need to install node on our machine. If you have node already installed, then typing this command node space hyphen V should return the version of the node that you have installed on your machine. If you don't have node installed on your machine, then go to this website nodejs.org download and install node on your machine from this website now that we have node installed on our machine let's start creating the node repository for unit testing for that what we need is let's run npm init first it will create package json for us what should be its name let's say unit test and rest we can consider the default values done now you can see that we have a package json created in this folder with name unit test and some default values now let's install mocha on our machine so for that we should do npm i hyphen hyphen save dev m o c h a so we are installing this as a dev dependency on our machine so you can see that we have dev dependency mocha installed on our machine now so that's the first step that we should do next what we need is let's create a folder source where we will keep all our javascript files and let's create one more say specs where we will keep all our test files let's now create one javascript file inside source folder let's call it my class.js and in my class.js we will use classes to write javascript code and then we will test its methods so let's create our first class say class my class and let's create a constructor which actually does nothing for the timing only say it says console.log initiate fine we can live with it and it should be inside quotes now we need to create the first method let's say add add is a method which takes two arguments arg1 and say arg2 what it does is it has a variable result and a result should be equal to arg1 plus arg2 it's a it's a very simple method which returns the sum of two numbers and let's now export this class as well so write module dot exports is equal to my class cool let's save it so this file is ready now we need to create a spec file and uh, let's keep its name say my class using the same name as that of javascript class so it is easy to maintain your code like that and then we should write dot spec dot yes that it is a spec file and it is going to test the methods which are there in my class file let's now use this class in my spec file my class let's require it and let's write down its path let's create an object now what we need is we have to write a test suit which should have test cases inside it so to write test suit in mocha we use describe so within describe the first parameter is the title of the test suit so let's call it say test suit only so a test suit is basically the collection of uh, related test cases and then we should write a function within this function we will write our test cases and our first test case will be to test the add function that we wrote in my class.js files let us first of all split our window in two columns and let's keep my class over here so we are supposed to test this method now within the test suit we need to write test cases using it method so let's give the first parameter which is the title of the test case let's say test the add method and then we will actually have the test case written in this function what we need to test is we need to test my obj dot add if i pass one and two it should return me three and 
for that to test that we are supposed to use some assertions so if you go to this website chaijs.com so chai is a very good and very popular assertion library which comes with three different interfaces should expect and assert my personal preference is expect so i will be using expect so what you need to do is go back to terminal and install this as a dev dependency chai and go back to packages and you can see that chai has been installed now what we need is we need to use chai over here where chai require chai and as i mentioned that i will be using expect interface of it so let's use chai dot expect how does it work so this is how it works expect that the output of this method to be equal 3 this is what we are expecting let's save it and now let's try to run it using npm run okay there is one more thing that we are missing for the time being we have not written any script to run the test cases so let's go back to packages and, and let's change this script to mocha space and what all do we need to run we need to run the files which are in specs folder and the files which end with dot spec dot js so if i run now npm run test it will run all the test cases written in all the files which are available in the spec folder or what you can do is if you have nested folders as well then you can use it star star as well over here so that it should look into the sub directories within the specs folder so let's try to run it cool so we have the expected output and the one test case is passed now it's a good practice that you should always write the negative test case first so that you you are confirmed that when you are writing the positive test case then that test case is actually the right test case how to do that let's try to figure out that one addition of 1 and 2 should return 5 which is wrong actually then the my test case should fail now i can see that my test case is failing and it is saying that expected is 5 and actual is 3 so this is wrong so let's change it back to 3 save it and now let's run it again and the test case is passing so this is the basic of the unit testing so we have learned a couple of things over here let's iterate these very quickly so we have created a class within a class we created an add method and we are supposed to test this add method using a session library chai and within this we are using its expect interface and then we have written a test suit using describe block and within it an it block is actually is a test case so that's it from this video in the next video we will spy a function